This is the tale of two souls. The ground is wet. It still smells of fresh rainfall. As I make my way through the long grass, I, I must, must be quiet. quiet. She must not hear me. He must not hear me. She is my house. He is my enemy. She is my livelihood. He is my nightmare. She is my only hope for survival. He is the destruction of my survival. As I stand there, finger on the trigger, I make a choice. My life growing up was not an envied life. Day by day, the weight of my entire family was on my shoulders. I was their savior. I could not let them down. I went through heartache and pain on a day-to-day -day basis just to survive. Stealing other lives to support ours was the only way out. Being the oldest means I have to protect the others. I did things I am not proud of. My mama loved me. She was proud of me. Proud of me for trying. If she truly knew what I had to do. As I stand there, finger on the trigger, I make a choice. My whole life, I've lived in fear. Fear of the worst predator, my worst enemy. Its sharp arms and flashing sticks hurt me and hurt my loved ones. It is small, smaller than I am. We cannot communicate. I cannot tell it to stop. It does not listen to me. It does not understand. It is my herd, my loved ones. It does not know that I have to care for my babies. It does not know that I have to stay with my family. I feel hurt when one of our own leaves us because of our enemy. This image is burned into my memory. My brother, how can I forgive and forget someone who left a soul out to rot in the searing African sun? My world is changing all around me. It is shrinking. I do not know how to stop it. It feels like it's all falling apart. I was born into this oppressive life and I do not want to die in it. Something needs to change. Never, never, and never again shall it be that this beautiful land will again experience the oppression of one by another. As I stand there, finger on the trigger, I make a choice. 